Mental Health Awareness Week is very significant to me as a psychologist. It's particularly significant now amid the COVID-19 outbreak where we've been required to make a number of changes to our lives and there's a great deal of uncertainty surrounding this situation. In my update today, I'd like to provide some tips on how we can engage in self-care behaviours amid what is a very challenging time. So to start with, start your day on a positive note. Perhaps you could send a word of encouragement to an elderly neighbour or someone dear to you. Perhaps you could send a word of thanks to a friend who's provided support. By doing this, you will start your day with a sense of positivity that will benefit both yourself and the person that you're communicating with. Set yourself a goal and focus on achieving that goal. We know that self-efficacy, that sense of control and competence is important to us. So you may set yourself the goal of walking for 20 minutes, of um, engaging in meditation for a period of time, or something else that, that you enjoy doing. And when you succeed in doing it, it will provide you with a sense of accomplishment. Remember what you're good at and do more of that. So self-esteem is really important to us. We're good at some things and less good at other things. Perhaps you could focus on doing the things that you're really quite good at. This may be baking, it could be art, it could be singing. Whatever this may be, do more of it if it feels good. Explore your creative potential. The lockdown has provided many of us with a time to recalibrate our lives and to discover new things about ourselves. So why not try something new and explore your creative potential? After all, creativity is good for your health. So you may start to learn a new language or you may explore local history online. You may join a new online group. All of these things are possible amid the social distancing measures and they can help us to discover and to explore our creative potential. Connect with others. In the era of social distancing, we're at increased risk of isolation and loneliness. But there are many things that we can do to connect with others and to avoid these negative feelings. And in a previous update, I described some of those things. And finally, renounce certainty and try to be a bit more adaptive. We do like certainty, stability and security in our lives, but unfortunately, COVID-19 challenges these very feelings. We've probably got to let go of some certainty uh, to some extent, and um, we'll have to accept that we'll need to make and continue to make changes in our lives and to embrace these changes. But by being more creative and by embracing change, we're actually training ourselves to be more adaptive in these unprecedented times. I'd like to just also remind you of the Wandsworth Community Hub, which is here to provide our residents with support, guidance and signposting. So please do get in touch if you need assistance. Thank you.